I'm actually trying to um, route the signal from the bottom uh, signal and, and brake lights to the uh, uh, side uh, tail lights on the body. This makes a little bit more sense to me. Um, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is to uh, take out all these uh, liners and, and uh, whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna do that and come back. And then the second thing you wanna do is to uh, remove this screen. This is fairly easy. Here we go. Um, you're also going to need to put this back seat forward so that you can take this panel off, I mean partially off at least, and so, so to have access to this panel which gives you a set point connectors for the side tail light okay so we'll start from this side i have a chelsea there so i'll deal with the other side once i'm done with this one and when i gain more experience okay so the next thing you need to do is to remove this trim uh, liner or trim piece uh, the way you do it is you, you pull it out from the bottom like that you don't don't try too hard but it should pop out okay so a little difficult with one hand and at the same time the thing so there are pins going this way on this side and then there uh, connect uh, pins going this way so you want it to pull out uh, out in this direction and up so that this thing piece will remove I'm gonna stop recording and do it with both hands Okay, so that piece is out. If you do it careful enough, nothing should break. And mine at least come out whole piece. And I'm showing you where the holes are. Um, at least you know where to pull. Okay, so now we're gonna need to take remove this piece. Uh, before you can do that, I think you have to remove this side wall piece, you, at least partially. So. Okay, so to pop up this panel, you're gonna need to take a, a small screwdriver. Probably this plastic piece used to be like that. There's a access point so that you can put it, the screwdriver in and pop it out. It's very, just be very gentle. It's very, I mean, it's not that's too tight. Then I'm gonna use a, a seven millimeter to take out this, it, it, yeah, take out this screw. Now you can start uh, to pull out this trim piece. It won't come out completely, but at least you'll be able to slide it out along the uh, seat belt, and then you can take this piece out. So that piece is out. As you can see, there are only four clips. So once you take it out, just slide along the seat belt and put it uh, on the uh, reclined uh, back seat. Okay, now we're gonna get to this one. So this one has many pins, as you already can see, and it's pretty tight, so I don't think you can remove the entire thing out. So the first thing we're still gonna need to do is to lose this screw. Okay, so this one is a 10 millimeter screw, and uh, again, it's not uh, gonna take you too much force to, to take it out. All right, once it's out, then we can start applying uh, along the side, trying to um, loosen up this side panel uh, like i said you won't be able to remove it completely but uh, it should give you enough room to to access the uh, connector okay so after you pop up a few uh, clips you should be able to just open the side panel enough to access the connectors over here so i only pop up one two three and there's another one down there, if you can see, I'm trying to zoom in to focus. Yeah, that one. Uh, how to focus? Okay. Yeah, that one right there inside. Then this is enough movement for you to then gain access to the connector, which is right here. I'm not sure you can see my hand. Uh, it's a little dark even for me. Yeah, okay, right here. So. The one that was a little bit red tip so that's the connector okay okay so my next step is going to be 
quite unique. I'm actually not gonna cut the wire. Instead, I'm gonna use a spare connector to tap into the wire. So I have a, a male and a female. So the male will go to the um, female of the factory connector and uh, the female will go into the male. So this way, I mean, I can just get tap into the lines without cutting the lines. These connectors are very difficult to find and I took me uh, almost a month to get them and all the wires were actually broken when I received them so I have to modify them quite a bit but finally get it to work. So I just measured the uh, polarity of the connector and it turns out that I put the color wrong so um, on the car when I uh, turn on the daylight running light I I get uh, uh, the yellow is actually the uh, the positive and red is uh, ground, uh, but it doesn't really matter because I mean we are just I mean the, the color as long as you know what you're doing it, it's okay. So now what I'm going to do is to uh, start soldering uh, the uh, I'm going to use the um, dimmer uh, connect to the. Uh, to the uh, power line of this one and then we'll see okay so this is the uh, uh, partially finished controller for the uh, for one side and I'm not going to teach you how to solder uh, you're gonna have to learn it by yourself but uh, here's what we got so remember I put the um, color code wrong when I assembled the connector but that's okay as long as we know what we're doing so the yellow is actually the positive it's connected to the uh, output of this controller and the negative which is red is connected to the uh, um, ground so I actually added the extra ground cable from this side so you see this uh, red coming from the light uh, connected to the ground of the controller as well as, as uh, branch out to the um, to the light unit itself I have not connected to the and uh, and on the uh, controller the other side there are three cables the three wires black is the ground so it's connected to the ground white is the low density which is what we're doing here we wanted to dim the uh, tail light um, so that uh, uh, when we hit the brake and turn signal there will be difference the intensity difference so I have not connected the, uh, the the red which is reserved for the uh, brake and turn signal. I'm just gonna put this one in to test and see if at this at this moment if it works. Okay, okay so I just turned on the daylight running light and you can see on the right which I have not put on the controller. It's pretty bright on the left. Uh, it's working. I would say it's working too well. I can barely see the light but you can see like this tiny lamp actually cam on so I might have to adjust the intensity a little bit because it's now way too low okay but uh, I'm glad it's working okay so I just uh, turn the uh, dial all the way up and this is actually essentially without dimming you can see I mean it's working so um, we just have to find a, a proper position for the dial to get the desired intensity I would say what I got earlier was too dim so I'm gonna have to adjust later but at least function wise see right now without dimming it's the same as the uh, on both sides okay okay uh, one challenge uh, now is to run the wire from this uh, tail light all the way down to the uh, break the actual break uh, signal light um, I mean you can potentially go through the the vent port which is here uh, it's just I mean you see this is just one way that you push it it's open but I don't like to keep it open I mean this is supposed to be one way so block moisture coming back in so I find a different location which is there on the side of that you see where it is there are some stickers which block some factory holes um, and uh, um, you're just gonna need to and, and down there it, it, it you'll be able to find some hole it's not kind of straight through you have to wiggle your wires but the best trick I can say is to peel this um, tape here so that the expose the hole then you crawl down and look up you'll be able to see some light 
then you feed your wire through it took me like 10 seconds to do that once you figure out how to do it but uh, i mean it's, it's hard to describe you have to work to be able to understand how it, how to put it through but i mean like i said um, look from underneath up it will be able to see some light and feed your wire through that hole it it's not too far away from the whole factory hole down there there's also a hole down there now after this is done i'm gonna have to seal it with some um, silicone caulking but for now i mean i i just need to do some more soldering uh, to bring to connect the signal to the uh, actual tail light okay 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 so on the um button daylight running light and break light uh, signal i'm also using some spare connector so that i don't need to cut any wires uh this kind of connector that uh, i'll be using um the factory connector only uh three uh wires um, um one of them on the very far side outside i forget which one um is actually for um just functionality check to make sure the light is not broken or anything. Um, my connector has four wires I'm soldering open. Uh, two reasons. One is I don't want to spend time figuring out which one is the uh, signal light. Uh, sorry, the uh, the feed, uh, feedback light, uh, feedback uh, wire. The other is uh, soldering four of them will increase the strength of my connector. Uh, the middle two are the actual signal wires. Um, I believe... Um, I think let's see. Uh, I believe um, the yellow is positive and red is negative. Um, anyway, I mean we don't need to worry about that. So I'm just using the same color code, so the lighter color white, uh, soldered to the yellow and uh, uh, black to the to the red. So, and when I'm finishing up on the bottom, I'll measure the polarity. Uh, from from this end, so I don't need to guess or remember. It's easy. So okay. So this is all done. I mean, again, I'm not gonna teach you how to solder. You just need to uh, have some experience and work it through. And now I'm gonna connect them and uh, feed uh, uh, and see and test the functionality. Okay. So I'm down uh, at the bottom of the car on the uh, driver's side. And uh, I'm trying to just to show you where the uh, the actual tail light, sorry, uh, signal and brake light connectors are. It's a little difficult to see on this end because you have this main wire going in. So yeah, just blocking the view. But it's uh, uh, right. It's it's here. So I'm not sure if you can see my right, right here. I'm gonna take it off and the other in this here. Uh, well, I guess you're just gonna have to. Uh, not right here. There. There. Behind this thick wire. Right there. Okay. Hope you can see. So I just take it off. Now, what you're gonna do is to uh, plug in the female of the one, the spare one, into this male one. And. The male one into the female right here okay just, uh. okay so this is the finished product i just finished soldering the uh, um, dimmer unit um, the wire is a little complicated to explain but uh, what i did pretty much was to uh, like i said uh, take uh, power from the this turn signal uh, brake light and uh, feed it through up here i didn't I didn't measure which one is positive and negative until I have the wires uh, up here. And then uh, it turns out that the white is the, is the, uh, uh, the positive and black is the negative, which is consistent with what I had on the uh, connector. So I just solder the, um, uh, the white coming from the bottom to the yellow of the uh, dimmer unit and uh, um, this is the high uh, density wire so when i use this tail light as brake uh, turn signal i wanted to 
uh, go full uh, intensity so that that's why it's using the high density well the original uh, tail light signal is going through this um, white light which is the low intensity now I showed earlier that uh, it takes some adjustment to get the desired intensity but uh, it was working so I'm gonna test that one now and see how it goes okay so I just I just adjusted the uh, intensity a little bit so this is the uh, right side which I have not adjusted yet this is the one that I finished working on so I'm just I just turned on the uh, daylight running light you can see it's a little bit light let me turn it off and see and show you when it's off how it looks like okay so this is how it looked like when it's off. I'm gonna turn it on again. And you can see a little bit of light. I mean, it might be too dim, but uh, I'm gonna go with this. Now on top of this, I'm gonna turn on the signal light. Okay, so you can see that it's uh, blinking. And when it stopped blinking, it went back to the low intensity state. Okay, because I still have my uh, daylight running light on. So it's working overall so far. Uh, so I'm gonna move on to the other side. And I wanna show you how my uh, this dimmer unit looked like uh, when I'm done soldering. So these two wires come in, are coming from the bottom, from the turn signal and brake light. White is the positive, and this uh, brown is uh, the negative, the ground. So the ground goes to this black wire which is connected to um, this um, to the ground of the dimmer unit also it takes it merge with the ground from the day night running light because they are both ground so I mean they can it's, it's okay to to merge them um, the white is positive like I said it goes to the red which is the high intensity input of this unit and the uh, yellow is from positive input of the uh, uh, the tail light itself, and it goes through the white, which is the uh, low intensity, and its its intensity can be adjusted by turning the dial right here. So now uh, the output goes to the yellow, which is the positive to the light assembly itself, and uh, the red is. Uh, again connected to the ground uh, from both the uh, bottom and the uh, the tail light itself okay so that's how it's arranged and I did not arrange for a separate uh, uh, ground to the body because uh, I fear, figured that all the uh, connection needed are already uh, provided by the wires that I'm using okay okay now moving to the uh, the other side and on this side this is my wire configuration so just remember how it looked like as two sides look very different you only need two wires on the diagonal uh, pins so from this angle you see that I have pin on the upper right and the lower left and in this configuration I just measure its priority uh, yellow is positive and uh, uh, blue is my ground so that's how I'm gonna solder my uh, dimmer all right let me explain the partially finished uh, connector so um, this is uh, a female which goes to the supply uh, of the uh, tail light on the on this side okay and yellow is positive blue is ground so positive goes to white of the input on the dimmer unit this is the low intensity input because we're gonna dim it and then the blue goes to um, ground of this unit as well as the negative the blue of the, this side the, the male side which goes to the uh, tail light uh, unit itself so it's a, a, a three-way connection and it will become four-way actually when we have the other uh, one front button connected to it and the output of the unit goes to the uh, yellow which is input the positive of the uh, tail light assembly itself now uh, there's another wire I have not uh, connect that that is going to be the uh, input positive input 
front button uh, turn signal brake light itself so as you remember from the other side I'm gonna need to feed the wire from bottom up then solder it okay okay so with this wiring halfway down just testing the functionality and uh, I don't like what I'm looking at because uh, the dimmer unit doesn't seem to dim my tail light at all so now I'm not, I'm not sure if this is sensitivity or the uh, uh, the unit itself is broken but I'm gonna try to rotate the dial uh, and see if I can dim it to match the other side because the other side it's pretty dimmed I mean I'm not sure you can see but uh, definitely to my eyes the ten intensity is different okay okay so it turns out the unit is actually working. I mean, I just didn't uh, turn the dial uh, far enough. So now, it, I mean, you see some light, and it's dimmed, okay? So comparing to this side, I think uh, they are pretty similar. I mean, to my eyes at least. Uh, we'll probably need some fine tuning, uh, but uh, I guess this will work. So we'll go from there. Um, we can continue with the uh, wiring from the bottom that's more important okay so to feed the wire uh, downward i use the same measure so there's some this kind of uh, uh ceiling tape i peel the one close inside and this, this side is actually better i'm not sure you can see so if i peel it you can already see uh, it's difficult to see from here but yeah so but I, okay so you can see so you can see that this is actually uh, lined up with the hole underneath so i don't need to crawl underneath to feed the wire i can actually feed the rear from up here which makes things a lot easier so that's what i'm going to do now so so this side is actually a lot easier to work with because you don't have the main cable in the way so uh, i'm pointing you to where the connectors are and it's symmetrical on the other side which uh, wasn't easy to see uh, when I film it so if you look at it it's just this connector right here and you press a, a, a button to release it now I'm gonna connect my uh, tapping connectors to, to this okay so I'm just gonna test the uh, polarity can so I turn on the uh, turn signal and what I'm gonna need to do is to make sure that uh, I'm getting positive on the white and uh, negative on the uh the black so i'm kind of doing it uh with one hand is gonna be a little tricky but let's see yes you see that signal jumping up and down because i'm turning on the blinker but uh uh it's showing positive numbers so my clarity is indeed correct and now i have the final soldering to do so uh, what i need to do is to connect the positive to the uh, high intensity line of the controller and the ground merge with the, uh, the ground uh, all the grounds that uh, we did earlier okay okay so the wiring is now all done time to check functionality this is with daylight running light on as you can see the uh, tail lights on the tailgate that's uh, they do not change intensity as, uh, and well the the two side lights are dimmed okay this is uh, daylight running light on with a left turn signal this is uh, daylight running light on with right turn signal this is daylight running light on with brake on Daylight running light on with brake on and left turn signal on. Daylight running light on with brake on with right turn signal on. Daylight running light off with brake on. Daylight running light off with brake on and left turn signal on. 